Yes, you are live on air, my friend. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I wanted to ask you a few questions, you know. A few like, questions? I, I like hummus. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about Christianity, so I wanted you to explain me, like, like, see, we Muslims, you know, we pray five times a day. Yeah. And say Shahada and everything, believe okay, in our where, where are your God, he says, pray five times a day? Yeah, obviously in Quran, it's not there. Okay, so why you do it then? Because uh, Allah said, take whatever your Prophet gives and Okay, but uh, don't so, uh, don't you know that your prophet he receives satanic verses? Uh, I think Farid response make a made a video about satanic verses. Who who? Farid. Who, what what he said in the video? Tell me. What uh, what I, was I, she said? I watched it like really long back, so I don't really oh, remember okay. it. But oh, he okay. said uh, it's not authentic something. He, she, she said, not he. No, because those he. who don't, no, the one who don't dare to call me, they are she, my friend. You see, you are okay. a man. You are a man. Yeah, yeah, you are yeah. a man. You yeah. dare to call me. I respect that on you. Uh -huh. The rest are she. Okay. They are not, not. They are not he. Now, okay, you call me, and you said you have a question about Christianity. But do you have knowledge of your religion? I mean, little bit, not too much. That's why I didn't. So want how to come? Talk how come you are jumping instead of learning about your religion? Now you want to learn about Christianity? Did you decide to leave Islam mm -hmm. or something? No, because I wanted to see uh, what Christianity is. Because okay. it's let us see. Let us see what the Christianity is. What Islam says about Christianity? Do you know? Uh, I I don't have much knowledge. Well, you don't know what Quran says about Christianity. I mean, obviously, I know you guys do shirk and stuff. Like shirk? What shirk mean? Shirk means uh, associating partners with Allah. Okay, wonderful. But it, it is you Muslims who do shirk and associate partner with Allah. Isn't you Muslim you say shahada, you say that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his funny prophet? Uh, we say Muhammad is his slave and a messenger. Okay, but you are associating the name of God with the name of a man. You uh, cannot yes. convert to Islam unless mm -hmm. you associate the name of Allah with the name of Muhammad, correct? Correct. You are mushrikeen. No, that... Yeah, but uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, what do you, uh, you uh, so if you are not a mushrik, why you have to put the name of Muhammad next to the name of Allah? Okay, can I explain? Go ahead. Uh, shirk means hmm. when you associate somebody hmm. with Allah, consider them Allah too. We don't consider Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as Allah. Okay, who is the one who taught Muhammad not to do shirk? Do you know? I don't know. Uh, I, I, it's Allah. No, it was a Jew. Really? Yeah. So your prophet is a mushrik according to the hadith. Here we go. This is the hadith. It's sahih. Muhammad, he was sitting with his friends. A Jewish guy, he walked by and he told the Muhammad, hey, you are a mushrik, you are a mushrik, ta 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 ta. Muhammad, he said to him, why? Look what he said, the hadith. You are setting up revives to Allah and associating others with him, you say whatever Allah wills and, and you will, which means Muhammad, and you say be uh, uh, by the Kaaba, you swear by the Kaaba, and so the Prophet command them, if they wanted to swear an oath, to say by the Lord of the Kaaba, and to say whatever Allah wills, then what you will. So who is the one who fix Islam monotheism? A Jew. How come Muhammad did not notice that this is wrong? Do you see Muhammad saying, no, you are wrong? No, he did not argue. He just said exactly as the Jews told him to do. So you mm -hmm. Muslims are mushrikeen, and the one who fixed Muhammad's stupidity, it was a Jew. If this Jew did not walk by, until now you Muslim, you are saying what Muhammad was saying to you. But now you are saying what the Jewish says to you. And you are a prophet, obviously, is a false prophet because if he was wrong, by doing that, the one should correct him is Allah, not a Jew. Mm. What? Um, is that a metaphor too? Um? Mm. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, so, I, see what, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so, so the one who fixed the lies of Muhammad is a Jew. So you must tell you are following a false prophet. He never was monotheist. And if he is a prophet who knows what monotheism, well, the first one to correct him is Allah. 
And look what happened. It was the Jews. Supposedly the Jews are the enemy of Islam. How the Jews are the enemy of Islam and then they are correct in Islam. And how the Jews are the enemy of Allah and Muhammad is taking what the Jews says. About what? About the most important thing in the religion. Monotheism. I mean, if they teach something that is uh, monotheism, then we can take it, right? Hey, but uh, you can take it from a Jew, but that doesn't mean Muhammad is not a prophet. Because Muhammad is the one who came to teach you that, not to teach you wrong. Muhammad was teaching them wrong, and the Jewish guy, he said to Muhammad, hey, potato, listen, you don't say that. Okay? Muhammad, mm -hmm. okay, 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 I will, okay, from now on, do as he say. <laughs> okay, let me ask you. Do you Muslim worship Allah or you worship stones? We worship Allah. Why you kiss the black stone? The black stone, yeah. we kiss it because it's a special stone from Jannah. It's a special stone. Brother, sisters, like, the black like stone, Allah, the black stone know, is a special stone. Okay, how it is a special? <laughs> in the Quran, Allah said, uh -huh. go and visit historical places and see what I have done to disbelievers. No, 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 no. Allah, he said what in the Quran? Go and, uh, you know, go, oh, what is it? My English is bad, so I'm trying to... Don't worry, my English is even better. You know, me and you and Zachary Naik, both of us, we speak, all of us, we speak bad English. Brother and sister, <laughs> Allah in the Quran, he said, chapter 13, verse 13, that the angel is a thunder. The angel is a thunder. Continue, my, uh, my friend. Your name is what, by the way? Uh, Noor. Noor. Ah, you, ah, your name is light. <laughs> yeah. Why are you calling yourself Noor? Are you Allah? <laughs> no, no, no. So are you not. hijacking the name of Allah? <laughs> hey, okay. Okay, okay, tell me, tell me, okay, tell me what you want to tell me. You said so in, in the book of John, it's a teach shirt, like what? To worship Jesus, you mean? Yeah, and okay. also some things. Okay, Jesus what if was. I show you right now that the Quran says to you, you should worship Jesus? Oh, are you going to go to that verse where Allah said, uh, Deru Shirk, uh, besides. Uh, there is no God besides Allah and the Messiah something. Yeah. Are you going to go to that? Word? Yeah, why not? Is it is it a verse in the Quran or I'm getting it from the, my yellow book? This is your yellow book. You see, this is your Muslim interpretation trying to fabricate, but the verse is so clear. All right, here we go. I, I, I want you to, to look with me in YouTube. Just to show you how they lie to you in their own, from their own mouth. You see here in the translation down, there's two translations, Dr. Mustafa and Sahih International. In Sahih International, they say the following. They have taken their scholars and monks as lords beside Allah. Mm -hmm. First, this is a false statement. No Christian worship their scholars and no Christian worship John and no Christian worship Peter. Those are the highest for us as disciples of Jesus. But nobody worship them. That's a big fat lie. Then, here they said, and also between two bracket, but this is not true. Let us go to the Arabic. Can you see the, the, the screen, the full screen with me? Yeah, I can see the screen. Okay, I want you, do you have a pen and paper? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, I will move my mouse in the top of the word. Do you see what it says there in, uh, let me zoom in, hold on. Do you see now what it says? Uh, they have taken. Do. do you see it? They have taken. Do you see it or you don't see it? Oh yeah, yeah. They have taken. No, I see. It. Okay. So the first one, they have taken. What, mm -hmm. what we did? We just moved the mouse over the word. Correct. Their rabbis. So they have taken what? Their rabbis. Focus with me. And their monks. Are we finding it now? Mm -hmm. Type it in your sky, please. Type it for me. Whatever I'm saying, reading for you. Type it in your Skype so we can in, we can read it at the end as one sentence or one one phrase. So okay, they took, they have, they have taken, they have, taken, they have, they taken, they have their rabbis and monks and monks. Now we move it here. Arbaban as lords. Mm -hmm. Beside Allah. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's make one sentence. They took their rabbis and their monks as lords beside Allah. Are we good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes. And then right away it says, and the Messiah. 
the son of Mary. <laughs> so they took their monks and their rabbi as Lord instead of Allah and the Messiah. <laughs> it's in the front of you. <laughs> so those dummies, when they try to say Christian Prince, where it says that, where it says, it's in the front of you, you idiot. Mm -hmm. And just to show you that Muslims are a bunch of cowards when they trans uh, transmit the news of Muhammad. If Muhammad he touched his ass, we will find it in Sahih al Bukhari. If Muhammad he took a booger from the wall of the Kaaba, we will find it in Sahih al Bukhari. If Muhammad he shake his penis three times, we will find it in Sahih al Bukhari. But the debate with the Christian, we don't find it anywhere. Why? Mm -hmm. You know, when the Christian they say they believe that Jesus is a son of God. Oh, what the problem with that for you? Because Allah said Allah has no sons and Allah is father to no one. Okay, hold on. Allah, he said, if Allah, he wanted to have a son. Yes. He will have, he would have a wife. Yes. From us. He would have chosen one of his creations to be his son. Where it says he's a creation. Are you, are you, are you creating, are you fabricating Quran now? Are you like Mimi Hijab? Oh, no, 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 I'm not like that. So why are you the uh, word? Does it say there? Does it no, say, does it, okay, let me ask you. Does it say in the Quran, I will take a wife from my creation? Does it say that? Uh, I will take what? You said, if Allah want to take a wife, he will take it? No, no, not creation. wife. Not wife, son, son. Hmm. Son. Yeah. yeah. But, here, but no, here, Quran, here he's talking about a wife because the word lehu, Lahu is an Arabic word for the women. Lahu means fun. So if I want to take a fun, which means a woman, this is how the Arab they insult women. And this is your Muslim translation. Had we intended to take a past time between two brackets, i.e. a wife or a son, which means he marry a wife, then he got a son from her, etc. We could surely take it from us. You remember you told me that we Muslims believe in oneness and you refuse that Jesus is son of God because that will associate you know, uh, Jesus with God, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how Allah will take a partner as a wife from us? Who is us? Uh, which chapter is this? This is a chapter 21, verse number 17. Okay. What is the context behind, like, the previous verses? Oh, she read. There's no, there's no connection. You know, in the Quran, this is a stupid book. There's no connection between the verse before it and the verse after it. Uh, read. Edwin, uh, we created not the heaven and the earth, that is between four to play. Had we intended to take a past, what what is the connection? There's no connection. <laughs> what is a past time? Past time is and a woman, a woman, a woman, a woman for fun, to sleep with her, to give you babies. Take it from us if we were going to do that. Hmm. Okay, but he didn't, right? But the problem now, you see, this is at that time we don't know now that he was single at that time. Maybe now he's married. That the problem is, he said we will take her or that partner from us i thought allah is one yes allah is one okay but so allah, allah will marry who allah will marry allah no these are where i don't know you know i'm not that so, smart so one. allah will marry allah i don't know <laughs> allah. What, is that an answer are you playing mimi hijab now Oh my God, I'm not Muhammad So Hijab. Okay, so tell me, I mean, it says us, it's, the word is so clear, how come you play dumb right away? The second we put you here, secondly, uh, suddenly you don't know, you know about the Bible, you know that this is not right, you know, suddenly now, I don't, I don't know. It's so clear, it says us. And now Just you can say the word example. us. You, you see, we ask Muslim, why Allah, he keeps saying we? We, okay, we send, yes. they say, because he is uh, majestic, he's speaking like a king right yes yes okay which is very stupid because if Allah is saying the word me we that make him majestic that means Allah as I is not majestic so Allah he need to borrow a word from the <coughs> from the corrupt kings who keep saying we to make himself like them how stupid uh, so it is okay. not good for Allah listen according to you Muslims it is not right for Allah to say I he like it more to say we because we is more fit to Allah <laughs> So Allah himself yeah. is not satisfied with him by one. Allah, he like to be we, at least by yeah. words. Can I tell you a hadith? Tell me a hadith, tell me. 
whoever even has an ounce of uh, pride in them allah will throw them in hell fire because hmm. pride is only for allah It's okay allah uh, something right so is muhammad going to go to hell fire i mean the pride meaning arrogant hey, muhammad arrogant. is arrogant muhammad is arrogant about everything muhammad he used to beat muslims for no reason they just agree with them he is wrong still he beat them i can show you the hadith and not only that he says i made conditions in allah with allah that any muslim i beat him or whip his back unjustly allah will make it a blessing for him <laughs> imagine he is beating them unjustly he is he, you know he is wiping the floor with them unjustly and that will will, will make them receive a blessing from allah i want to beat you uh, my friend <laughs> so you receive a blessing what do you think <laughs> Arrogant. So look what 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 you say. It's proven to me that the first one will go to hell is Muhammad. But now let's go back here. You Muslims are so proud about worshiping one God, but there is religion worship Shaitan. Shaitan is one Shaitan. So who care about how many you worship? He's one. He's two. He's three. He's five. He's six. The the question is, is he exist or not? Obviously, your God is not one because the Quran is so clear. If we I take if we take a wife. We will take it from us. That's mean. You see, when I say us, that's mean there's many of me, like me, my people. Oh, Correct? Oh my God. <laughs> no. Ah, so what does mean us when you say us? What us, us mean? That Allah is speaking like a king, like a master. But remember, uh, here he is going to take a partner. Allah is going to have sex with himself. But he didn't, right? He just. This is not the question. Allah is saying, if I want to take a wife, a wife. Is Allah a female and male at the same time? You see, this is the problem. You guys keep. Uh, you see, this is the problem. You don't answer. Allah here talking about taking a partner, and that partner from us. So it cannot be Allah saying us mean Himself because that will make Him going to f Himself. Can't you read? He will yes, take I a partner, a partner. So mm -hmm. us here, it have to be about many, it can't even be two. You know, because even in English, but well, this is Arabic, here it says, Min ladunna, us as, as, okay. as many, not so even as Allah. two. So, so there's Allah many Allah, saying, there's many Allah, and there's male and female. No, no, no. Well, okay, explain to me then, Allah will take a wife from us. Yeah, okay, you know what, words, hold on, hold on. Do you, do you accept the Islamic interpretation? I mean, I don't care about any interpretation on it. Uh, you don't care about interpretation. Why? Because the interpretation will make you no, get lost. No. <laughs> Whatever interpretation you want to choose, I'm fine with it. No, it, you choose interpretation for me. Which interpretation you want? Whatever you want, Christian. Uh, because you I know, because you will say to me, if I show it to you, you will say, uh, I don't accept this one. <laughs> no, I'm not like other Muslims. Ah, you are different. Oh, okay. Well, this is what I'm, I'm saying. If you if you want, if I can. Something, <laughs> I accept it. All right. So let us go. I will choose whatever translated. This is what is in this page. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. We will show whatever translated in, you know, they have two trans uh, uh, interpretation in English. Here it says, Allah revealed the following when they said that the angels are Allah daughters. Allah daughters. Do you see it? Okay. No, if we had wished to find a pastime, if we wish to have a daughter, and it says that it's mean if we wish to have a wife, and also it said that's mean if we wish to have a children's, we would have found it in our presence from us, from among the maidens of paradise. Your prophet, your God, he is going to have sex with the virgins, with the human women. Allah is a human. And it also says we will never do this, right? Well, he, no, he did not say we'll never do that. He says, in kunnafali, if we will do that. You see here, false translation. You can go, we can go to the same website, the one we showed you, Quran.com, and you can move your, 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 your mouse in the top. It says, in kunnafali, if we are going to do that. Okay, I got it. Yeah, doesn't say we will never do that. That's a false translation.
Okay, so now we have a problem. Allah is saying if you want to have, it's possible. If he want to do that, it's up to him. Anyway, we understand. It's up to me, to me. You know, it's up to you to get married or not. That's, you know, so this is something personal. But Allah now is talking saying, if we want to take a partner as a wife, so we can have babies, I am going to choose from us. That This is the Muslim interpretation saying, us here mean the virgin women in heaven. Okay. How God is God, and he is marrying a human, unless he is a human. You see, Allah therein himself said, he just said from us. Now people are saying from maidens and stuff. Huh? <laughs> Allah just said from us, but uh, uh, the interpretation says No, 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 you see, us. you don't understand. He says, min ladunna, the word ladunna here. From our mm -hmm. kind. Ladunna mean our kind. Our, our, mm -hmm. our, like, our ethnic, our, uh, this is what ladunna mean, our blood. Like, okay. ladunni is my child, my children. Mm -hmm. You know, like you are from the ladun of Adam. You understand? Mm -hmm. So they are the word mm -hmm. ladunna there. Mm -hmm. So, if we want to take lahu, and this is the Islam interpretation too, says it clearly, that in the language of the Arab, lahu mean a woman. So Allah is okay. saying, if we want to take a woman, which is weird, because if Allah is not a man, then how... God who is not a man having sex with the women and then if you have a you know if a, a, a if a if a dog have sex with a horse they cannot have babies they have to be from the same kind correct yes okay so now let us say Allah is the dog and the wife is the horse and now they want to have sex together how they can have babies I don't know that well, you need to find out. Obviously, this is stupid. So, all okay. the monotheism, all the monotheism of Islam is a joke, is a lie. We showed you how a Jew, he is getting Muhammad busted, fixing his monotheism, because obviously Muhammad, he never was monotheist. He was trying to copy the Christian and the Jews. So, when he sat with the Christians, he talked as a Christian. When he sat with the Jews, he talked like a Jew. I, I, I disagree. Can I say why? Why? Tell me why. Because... There is nowhere in the Bible where it's there that Jesus used to speak when he was little, like infant. But in the Quran, Allah revealed this truth that Jesus used to do no, that. No, my friend, too. You, you are an ignorant like your prophet. We have we have uh, Bibles which is rejected. It's called the Infinity when when Jesus was a child. Those all are rejected by us Christians, and they are the story mentioned there. So your stupid prophet, he is copying those false books. And ask yourself, why a Christian will reject something will make even Jesus look more powerful? Correct? There's no point. And ask yourself, why a Christian will reject something will make even Jesus look more powerful? Correct? There's no point. If the Christian, they want to convince everybody, if they are deceivers, if they are liars, then they should use those stories because that will make Jesus even way more powerful in the eyes of everybody. Jesus, when he was a child, he is a creator. Mm -hmm. And hold on now, you just you just brought a disaster to your God. As long uh, the Quran, as long the Quran mentioned that Jesus can create a bird from the mud. Can I say I, I who, is, who, who is the God here? Well, when Jesus was creating from the mud the bird, who was God? Allah. So what Jesus was doing? But you will find be is in Allah. Doesn't matter. You see, by my permission or without my permission. Yeah. No, the, no, 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 you see, okay, but now Jesus is the one, Jesus is the one who is a creating, correct? Is it Allah yes. who is a creating or Jesus? Jesus. Okay, so Jesus, he have the power of a creation by permission of Allah, this is your claim, prove it. The Quran says, Bring your evidence if you are truthful. If there is a proof that this permission from Allah, I can say now I am the one who gave Jesus permission. You can say that too. That is stupid to say. But there's no proof. Muhammad, he could not do any miracles. The whole Quran I, is empty. I no. understand. Okay. I understand. So, uh, uh, when the Quran says, if you have, if you have a proof, provide it. How come mm -hmm. the Quran does not practice what he asking for? Uh, what is the proof that Allah, he gave a permission to Jesus? I mean, proof. I, huh? I don't really know. 
it, it might be in the gospels you know never know uh, he is the one he have to provide to the christians I'm asking Maybe. you, what is the proof that Muhammad, uh, that Jesus, he received a permission from Allah? So now I can say I'm the one who gave Jesus all this power. He can walk in water. He can make people see. I give him permission. I can show you the email. <laughs> you know, we we don't need uh, an evidence for this because How come? every prophet of God, you know, whoever it might be, if he's a prophet of God, mm -hmm. obviously it's sensible for every human that he's doing this because he's prophet of God what is what okay hold on hold on you see in the front of everybody can you show me the prophecy of the prophet of God in your Quran what prophecy because you just said he's a prophet of God who Muhammad yes he's a okay prophet. well he is a prophet of God the Quran says it clearly that mm -hmm. uh, Allah he told the Jews Mm -hmm. not to believe in any prophet of God this is a chapter 3 verse 183 unless he give a sacrifice and then God which is supposed to Allah he will send a fire from heaven to consume the sacrifice why Muhammad did not do what Allah he asked for uh, I lack knowledge for this I, I can't answer so now every Muslim he called me, he end with, I cannot answer and I cannot answer. Yes, because we Okay, come where here. are you from, my friend? Which country? Indonesia? Uh, I'm from India, but I'm, I live in New York right now. Okay. Do you know, uh, do you know Zakir Naik? Of course, I do know do you, him. Can, you, can you promise me, can you promise me to send him an email? Oh, he won't even reply. Why he will not reply? He don't, like, he don't deserve that kind of human. He, he think he's he, God? He, he's, he's too famous. No, he, he, he replied. People, they ask him about debating David Wood. Here he reply. Trust me, he will say, just say Christian Prince. Okay, you know, hmm. because you said it, I will email him. Okay. What do you... What about email? you call him life? I heard that he have a program life. You go to his chat and say to him, Christian uh, Prince, Christian Prince, he asked me a question. I could not answer it. Would you like to answer his question either by answering now or calling him or he will call you okay i will see hmm. and uh, what do you think uh like sam shamoon you know i had a very good discussion respectful discussion with him too yeah like he, he, he lost his hair by the way sam shamoon because he is not drinking camel urine what sam shamoon he lost his hair because he did not take the advice of the doctor muhammad your prophet, he asked Muslim to drink camel urine. I told Sam Shamoon, drink camel urine. You will have your hair grow like crazy. You know, you know why you have such a big audience? Y yeah. Because the way you make fun of my religion is too funny. It's too funny, isn't it? Yes. You know, you know, funny. you know what? It's funny that there is a prophet. He is shaking his penis three times. And then there is oh somebody writing in the paper, the prophet right now, he shake his penis three times. What kind of religion this religion is? You tell me. Yo, that, can hmm? you give me that too? Which uh, which hadith number is? Just tell me the hadith number and I will Okay, hold on. Let me find it. I will put it on the screen. Hold on. I don't want like to change topic. Just give me the hadith number. I want to talk to you, you know, about some other things too. No problem. But think about it. What kind of religion is religion? They write down that the prophet, he do that. Or he is teaching uh, that. I understand what you're saying. No, 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 this is not the question. I, you know, I like it when a Muslim, he try to avoid the question by saying, I understand your question, but he will not talk about the question. Like I understand. Listen, my friend, imagine you go to the university and the teacher, he give you a, a bunch of questions for the exam. And what you say to him, I understand your question. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I understand your question, but what is the question? What is the answer? <laughs> I understand your question. Uh, I wh mean, what, do you, what do you think about when Allah <coughs> said, Ya Christian Prince, Ma'agarraka bi Rabbikal Karim. What Rabbak al Karim? This is not Karim. This is a stupid God. We are laughing at him 24 hours. Look at this. You know, the Quran says, Inna like that's Allah. He stopped the one, anyone from laughing at Muhammad. Correct? Did he? 
This is alone to prove that Allah is a false God because if he did really, really that, then nobody can laugh at Muhammad. No, because Allah also said every prophet they made fun of them. Yeah, but then he, he that's it, he promised him nobody can laugh at you no more. Chapter 15, verse number 95. Mm -hmm. hmm? For sufficient, we not the against those who scoff. I mean, look at this stupid translation. Let us change translation. This guy, where he get? I think he's using Google translation. Uh, can you tell me? I want to look at that too. What verse and chapter? Chapter 15, verse number 95. Do you like talking to Muslims? Sure, I like because I am, am here on the purpose. Uh, no, even though I know. Like, did, did you notice I don't take a I don't take call from Christians? Did you hear me how many times I say this? If you are a Christian, don't even text me. Correct? Uh, I, you know, I honestly don't watch your videos yeah, I a lot. I forbid a Christian from contacting me. Don't contact me. Don't text okay. me. Don't, you know. I take only okay. call from Muslims. But Why? Because, I, I because, because I want to, because we love Muslims. We don't hate them. Maybe I sound uh, sometimes very tough on the Muslim, sometimes I'm very aggressive because our topic is disgusting. This but is why when I came here, I asked you directly <coughs> about Christianity, but you went into Quran. No, because for me, I want to finish Islam first. I want to erase. I know uh, what, you know, what, uh, you know uh, do, you, do you install a new, let us say you have a computer and your computer have a virus. If you install a new window without erasing the, vi the, the virus, Still, the virus is there, correct? Mm -hmm. If you change, if you say to me, okay, this person, he have a virus in his blood. So let's give him more blood. That will make him more healthy. No, still the virus is there. So we have to kill the virus first before we give you the new blood. That's what I'm but doing. Islam is a virus, my friend. Islam is a stupid. Islam made by a dummy for the dummies. And I now, understand. And now, let yeah. us go. Let us go to the prophet who is, uh, you know, the wise prophet. You know, like, where, is the, where is the hadith? Hold on. The Prophet, he took a stand, brother. He says, if any of you, brother, he decide uh, to uh, do uh, pissing, shake his penis three times. Different one. Also, God, uh, uh, messenger, saying, when one of you awake from his sleep, perform a pollution, he must clear his nose three times. <laughs> For the devil, he spent the night in the interior of his nose. <laughs> You know what happened to me once? Mm -hmm. This is a true story, you know? I was sleeping in my uncle's house. And then my uncle's wife, she came and she saw two shoes coming from my nose. Two what? There's two shoes, two feet, coming from my nose. Oh, oh was that a shaitan? It was a shaitan, brother. At that oh. time, they could not understand what's happening. So they, they, uh, you know, at that time there's no X-ray. I'm like 200 years old, you know. So there's no X-ray. There's nothing. I mean, they, I, like they saw that to their feet, they like they get scared. She went to call my mom. The guy he put his feet inside my nose, you know, because I have a big nose, brother, like Muhammad. So then why didn't you say la hola wa la huwata illa billah? It, it doesn't work. Here we go. You're a prophet. He have a shaitan in his nose. You're a prophet. He have shaitan in his ears. Even your prophet, he have a shaitan who command him to do good. <laughs> And obviously, all the words of Allah is not working. Is it you, Muslim, says that your prophet, he was under black magic? Uh, yes, I saw that you, you talked so, to other Muslims. So, so uh, Muhammad read Quran every day. How come the Quran is not functioning? Mm, I don't know about that. And I, I obviously uh, heard you say, saying to that Muslim, even though you don't believe that he was possessed or something. No, I don't believe he was. I don't believe. I don't yeah. believe. No, I don't believe he's under black magic. There's not such a thing, black magic. You see, in the Old Testament, speak about that the the magic of Moses uh, uh, overcome the magic of uh, the the Pharaoh magician. But this is not about magic because God did not do magic. God did, did miracle. So, but this is how they see it. They saw it as a magic. It's a trick. Oh. You know, they could not believe that uh, this is real. It must be a trick. You know, illusion. And so, but Moses did not do illusion. Moses, he did a real miracle. Yeah, he did reality. Yeah. So, but you Muslims, because you could not explain why your prophet is so stupid. So you come with your own illusion saying that he is suffering from black magic. <laughs>